All right, welcome everybody. We're gonna get started in just a few seconds. We're gonna let everybody make sure they're situated and in the right Zoom room. All right, Eva, do you want to get us started? Sure. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Eva Fall. I'm the student advisor here at Emory Continuing Education. Um, we are here for the digital certificates webinar. <laughs> um, these are certificates we offer through Passstream just to make sure that everybody's kind of in the right spot. Um, Yes, so just to kind of kick us off with an agenda for today, we are going to run through some introductions. We're going to talk a little bit about what Pathstream is. <laughs> we'll talk about our certificate overviews and what those offer. There will be a platform demo and then some time for some Q&A at the end. Um, also, feel free to like put anything in the chat as things come up. I'm going to pass this over. Everybody's going to introduce themselves now. <laughs> okay, thanks, Eva. I'm Mary Zimnick, and um, I'm a digital marketing instructor at Emory. And um, I have been at Emory for more than 17 years now, teaching uh, digital marketing and design for print and web, um, and was co-founder of the original digital marketing program. And so I have been so excited about this new version of the program, which has been so successful. And um, I just, I, I get a little bit too excited about it, but it's, it's just been wonderful for our students. And I've had um, several uh, cohorts with several, with many students so far. And I'm, I have absolutely nothing but exciting things to report for you, especially since in my opinion, it, it does a beautiful job of building off what we built um, originally. And um, so anyway, my, my, I split my time between teaching and doing in the field, which is not unusual for um, faculty member types who work in continuing education. And so I'm a designer and a writer and a digital and marketing strategist and have been for a very long time, sometimes longer than some of my students have been alive. And, um, and that enables me to do something I think is at least my, I feel has been helpful for my students and that's in bring my real world experience into the classroom. And, um, and so I love to learn about my students real world experience and what they wanna do. And, and that way we can, we can better help them and assist them with what they're learning in this wonderful program and how that can help them in whatever they're trying to accomplish for while they're here. So anyway, that's about it for me. Thanks, Eva. Great, thanks, Mary. So my name is Lauren Pizer and I um, work at Passstream, which is the digital skills provider that of these certificate programs. And I have led the development of all of our certificates. So I'm joined by many of my colleagues today to talk about the curriculum and the experience of these programs that we're offering you. And I will pass it to Angie to introduce herself. Thanks, Lauren. So I'm Angie, and I also work at Pathstream, primarily focused on the Tableau Data Analytics Certificate. I have a background working on various types of other data analytics, coding type of technical programs. Um, so I'm really going to be your point to person for any questions around the development or um, curriculum questions around the Tableau Certificate. And then Anthony. Thanks, Angie. Yep, my name is Anthony Jones, also on the learning design team over here at Pastream, and I will be talking to you all a little bit more about the Salesforce program, as well as the Asana Project Management program, um, both of which I worked heavily on. So yeah, looking forward to talk to y'all a little bit more about those programs in just a second. I'll pass it on to Nina. Hi, everyone. My name is Nina Sloat. Um, I worked with subject matter experts and others on this call to develop the uh, digital marketing certificate. Um, so excited to share with you a little bit more about how we developed that and answer questions for y'all. And I believe I'll pass it back to Eva. So just to kind of kick us off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why, who we are at Emory Continuing Education and why we partnered with Pathetry. Um, so if we wanna, yeah, great. So Emory Continuing Ed has been around for nearly 70 years and we've been 
Emory's non-credit division, and we really, really pride ourselves on giving our students as high quality of programming as we possibly can, and really, like, really help them develop their professional skills through kind of expert educators. So this partnership with PathStream has really kind of allowed us to build on the, that 70 years of experience because this expands what we can offer in the classroom. So by creating, by using this self-paced online curriculum through this partnership, um, we can really offer our students an opportunity to learn really like the latest digital skills um, and offer them a curriculum that PathStream, like an expert curriculum that really can adapt to all sorts of new things and as things are changing. Um, so kind of this combination of really great curriculum that is available to us through PathStream, this self-paced programming, which is really convenient for a lot of our students, right? Um, and combining that with our expert instructors and kind of our experience there um, really, we believe, gives us kind of the edge in these certificates that we offer um, and really provides our students with an opportunity they wouldn't have had and we wouldn't have been able to give them. Thanks, Eva. Um, so one of the things that we, we like to start off with explaining is that really the demand for digital skills is growing. Um, and this is growing across industries and functions. And so what you're seeing today, when you look at the jobs that are available to you, you're seeing that 80, more than 80% of jobs are digitally intensive, which means that they require certain software skills for you to come in and know about so that you can sort of be successful in that role and move up. Um, and these kinds of jobs, they have a lot faster growth trajectory. They are compensated at a higher rate. Um, and they are in fields like digital marketing, data analytics, uh, CRM and project management. And so that's really the backbone and how we've designed our courses around is these digital skills, which we know are growing in nearly every industry. So how we teach this um, through these programs is through what we call tool-based learning, which means that you will be able to access these digital skills, tools, and platforms directly in the classroom when you become a student. So that means that you will be opening up Facebook Ads Manager or Google Analytics or Tableau or SQL um, and practicing those in a hands-on environment inside of the classroom experience. And you're going to be practicing them through projects where you will receive personalized feedback from your instructor um, on areas that you've done well in areas you can improve. Um, but that's really what makes it um, kind of the past stream and Emory experience. So all of our certificates are three courses long. And those, those three courses, they range from either six weeks to seven weeks each, um, but they are really designed to prepare you for a growing career area um, in digital marketing or data analysis or project management or CRM. Um, and after this program, you will earn a certificate from Emory Continuing Education and you will also have access to individual career services at no additional cost to you. And so we'll talk about those career services a little in a little bit more detail. So let me just make sure. Yep, I skipped a slide here. So these career resources that I mentioned, what exactly am I talking about? So as soon as you get into the program, you're going to be able to get job opportunities emailed to you every week that are aligned with the certificate that you're taking. You, when you hit the final course, course three, you're going to have access to an individual career coach that will work with you to update your resume, update your LinkedIn, um, help you to search for roles, um, kind of give you some interview prep and really support you in that journey to get the job. So we are in no way, shape or form leaving you when you finish the program. We are here to help you get into that position, whether that's a promotion or a new job, um, or if it's just even to stay in your existing job, but utilize more skills. And so you might have some questions about the details of the program. And that's really natural because these are some things that will help you decide if this is the right program for you. So as I mentioned, there are three courses in each of our programs. And they, the total time of the certificate is between 18 and 21 weeks, depending on which certificate you're in. So you can really finish this, the entire certificate in a matter of months. The, each of these programs is what we call self-paced, 
Now, this is really critical, which means that you are going to have an instructor like Mary as your digital marketing instructor, and they're going to be there for you to answer your questions, to meet with you when you need help, and to augment your learning through giving you feedback. But they are not going to be holding required lectures every week that you must attend in order to complete the program. Right? So this is really what we call flexibly paced because we know that you might be working and you might only have the weekends to work or you might only have Tuesday and Wednesday nights. So this is a program that's flexibly self-paced in that way. And as I mentioned, you'll have an instructor there to answer questions, to support, the, the, support you sort of when you're stuck, um, when you want to really more deeply understand something or get feedback on your assignments. So that's really the instructor's role is like a mentor, a coach, um, and, and really an industry expert. Um, and upon completion, you will earn that certificate from Emory Continuing Education. You'll be able to put that on your LinkedIn and on your resume and bring it with you into your next opportunity. So I always like to show a couple of testimonials of students that have been in your shoes, that have attended a webinar like this, decided to enroll in the program and really taken advantage of these offerings. So students really amazed at the lab experience, which I'm gonna show you in my demo in a little bit. This is kind of one of the really cool features of Pastream. Um, students really also like how the material is broken down. Um, you get a little bit of information, you apply it, you get more information and you apply it again. Um, we also see amazing success on the career services side. We have seen students transition into roles that, you know, are huge step ups financially um, and in terms of responsibility from their previous positions um, and just really make great strides at companies all across the country. So um, we have a blog, which I, I'm happy to share with you in the chat, that is, um, has a lot of our success stories. If you want to hear um, those in more detail, I'll be sure to share that. So I'm gonna now pass it over to Angie to talk a little bit about the data analytics certificate. Thanks, Lauren. Um, so let's get started with what the Tableau data analytics certificate is. So this program was built in collaboration with Tableau and Tableau is an interactive data visualization software company. And it is currently one of the most powerful data viz tools in the analytics industry. So. This makes the certificates alignment with preparing learners for the real analytics rules, extra exciting and more hands-on. So we've partnered with Tableau because they're committed to increasing education on data analytics. So you'll learn foundational skills and get to practice using Tableau for free. The content itself is hosted using Pathstream's custom online learning platform where you will use the real industry tools such as Tableau, SQL, and spreadsheet software. So the image you see here and the images of labs you'll see sprinkled throughout the deck are actual glimpses of the tools you'd see in your labs. So for example, this image right here on the bottom right um, is a Tableau desktop lab. You'd be able to jump right into practicing with, a, with Padstream's platform. And everything from the examples in the lesson to the projects and the courses are based on real and the job scenarios. We're always trying to simulate that real analyst experience. So almost like a two in one. And after you've completed a course, your projects can be used to build a portfolio to showcase those skills to future employers. Great. So these are the learning outcomes of what you're actually going to learn. And I won't go through each one one by one, but essentially I'll summarize um, each course. So in course one, this is really the intro to business analytics fundamentals. This is where you'll learn um, really how to use spreadsheet software for data. Um, and like the key concepts you're going to cover here are um, exploratory data analysis and really how to use Google Sheets for exploratory data analysis. And you'll do um, almost like an end-to-end -end analysis um, with the goal being exploratory data analysis using um, Google Sheets. And then in course two, this is really when you're going to dive into SQL. So you'll be using my SQL Workbench and you're going to be using DDL, data definition language, which you'll learn all about in the course, and DML, data manipulation language. Again, you don't have to worry about that right now, but there it's different types of SQL. Um, and again, all using MySQL Workbench. And then course three is where you'll dive deeper into data visualization using Tableau Desktop. 
Um, so you'll learn everything from foundational visual visualizations to dashboards, stories, and then dive into more advanced concepts like um, optimization. So that's a little bit about each of the courses. So let's talk um, a little bit more about what the data is saying. Um, what's really great to know as you're considering the program is that the field of analytics is growing. There have been 1 million job postings for analyst roles in the last 12 months and 30% growth in jobs requiring Tableau skills in the next decade. Essentially, data is everywhere and companies need people to interpret and share that data. I want to mention two things. This program doesn't just teach Tableau, it teaches SQL, spreadsheets, and helps you perform exploratory, exploratory data analysis with all those tools. Also, this program isn't just for data analysts. So many roles today are using analytic skills and you don't have to necessarily have a data analyst title to be manipulating data. So if you're a project manager, digital marketer, or on a customer success team, there is still a lot of value in this skill set because it is applicable to many, many industries. Um, and now I believe I'm going to pass it on to Anthony. Yep, Anthony, it's all yours. Thanks, Angie. Yep, and I'm going to tell y'all a little bit more about this Salesforce Administrator certificate we've got. Um, so with this certificate, we partnered with Trailhead, which is Salesforce's official learning platform to kind of take somebody who's at a complete beginner stage and give them a foundation in Salesforce. And then eventually throughout the program, teach them what it would take to be a Salesforce administrator, which I'll tell you a little bit more about in just a second. But if, for those of you who might not know, Salesforce is by far the most popular customer relationship management platform, CRM platform for those in the know. And it's used by tons of different businesses in a lot of different industries and excited to tell you a little bit more about all that. So like I just said, um, we partnered with Trailhead on this one because that's Salesforce's official learning platform. But what we've done basically is we've carved out a path again from somebody who maybe doesn't know a single thing about Salesforce or Google Sheets or anything like that. And we take them from an absolute beginner and then throughout the certificate, prepare them to become a Salesforce admin. And we don't just do that by you know, sharing things to read. We actually get students hands-on working with Salesforce so that they can kind of simulate what it would be like to work on the job in the real world with these skills, which is true really for all of our programs. But because I'm talking about Salesforce, I'm just focusing on this one right now. So just like um, Angie kind of broke down the Tableau program into three courses similarly, and you'll see this is consistent with all of our programs, um, the Salesforce certificate uh, breaks down in three courses as well. The first course is really designed just to give folks who have kind of no understanding about Salesforce or the sales process or things like this or CRM to give them that foundation so that they can go on in the more complex courses being courses two and three to really level up and start to work on the back end of Salesforce and learn how you would configure these different tools and features as a Salesforce administrator. So again, Course one is really that foundational course for folks who are beginners. And then courses two and three is where it gets a little bit more advanced. And throughout the entire process, not only are you learning how to do these Salesforce administrator skills on the job, you're also getting prepared for Salesforce's official admin exam, which is something that you can take after you've completed the entire program. So there are a lot of different career possibilities um, for folks who take a, a Salesforce certificate like ours. One is obviously that Salesforce administrator role, but we've also seen students go on and have success with roles like sales operations specialist or sales support specialist or sales representative. We've even seen people who have a current job 
flex in their current role after taking the certificate. And when I say flex, what I mean by that is they were able to layer on additional responsibilities as they relate to Salesforce. So one thing that we hear a lot in the Salesforce world is this story of the accidental admin, meaning a lot of people get their first job as a Salesforce admin just by having a job and then asking their manager, hey, can I do these things with Salesforce now that I've learned how to kind of level up our business with these skills? And a lot of times managers say yes. And then all of a sudden, seemingly by accident, you've become an admin. And so that phenomenon we've seen play out a lot of times with students. And I, I hope this is um, obvious, but if not, let me double underline that Salesforce administrators and Salesforce jobs in general are needed in so many different industries and functions. Because Salesforce is the most popular CRM out there right now, tons of different industries use it. So you'll see Salesforce jobs in healthcare, retail, education, marketing, insurance, all the things that you see on screen right now. So whatever industry you're interested in, chances are there's a Salesforce job for that. And just to put things in perspective, Salesforce right now is going through a period of tremendous growth and they have been growing exponentially for a number of years. And who they see as their number one competitor is Microsoft. So if you can imagine how many different jobs and industries use Microsoft Office products, that's how many jobs and industries Salesforce is expected to be in as, in as well, which means there are a ton of opportunities. The data, well, the data kind of backs up what I've been telling you, which is you know lots of job postings in the last 12 months, tons of growth and you know, it's even if, again, you're not interested in exactly a Salesforce role, just having this type of CRM experience on your, on your resume and in your background is going to serve your career very well, kind of regardless of where you go after completing a program like this. Great. And with that, I'm going to pass it on to myself because I'm also going to tell you about the Asana Project Management Career Certificate, which I've worked a lot on. So let's talk about project management now a little bit. So with this one, we partnered with Asana, which for folks out there who might not be familiar, Asana is one of, I would say, the coolest. I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's one of the coolest and the newest and the fastest growing project management softwares that's on the market right now. And so Asana is a really interesting um, way to kind of conceptualize how to manage projects and we put the same way like in the Tableau program and in the Salesforce program, we put your hands on with the software. In this certificate, we put your hands on managing projects and real world scenarios using Asana to get that all done. So once again, um, we partnered with Asana because of how much they're growing, of how accessible the the project management software is. And, you know, Asana is one of those project management softwares that if you learn how to use it well, chances are any project management software that you come across as a project manager, you'll be able to master as well. So again, you'll see um, if, you, if you decide to pursue the certificate, there, there are tons of hands-on opportunities to be working with Asana, to be managing real-world projects, and to be gaining those on-the-job skills as you go through the program. So there are lots of um, jobs that are available to folks who take this uh, certificate. Um, surprise, surprise, one of those jobs is project manager. Um, but you also see jobs like project coordinator and you know, kind of similar to, to what I was talking about in, in Salesforce where it sort of expands across a lot of different industries. Project management or project manager is one of those roles that you see in tons of different industries. Almost every company has a need for a project manager. And so there are a lot of opportunities out there depending on where your interests are. It's also something that if you have a current job, it's a great way to pursue a promotion. And we also prepare you for one of the most widely recognized industry exams in project management, which is that Certified Associate in Project Management or CAPM exam. And so Simultaneously in this program, you'll be learning how to work hands-on with Asana. You'll be gaining really great foundational and fundamental project management skills. And you'll also be getting ready 
for that certified exam, which will look great on your resume if you wanna pursue a career in this field. So the data, kind of unsurprisingly, again, there are tons of jobs and tons of growth. And so this is the type of thing that it's never gonna look bad on your resume. And chances are, even if you don't wanna become a project manager, we could all use a little bit more project management skills in our own life in terms of organizing our affairs and doing all that. So pretty much a no lose situation here with the project management certificate, but happy to answer more questions about it later if any of y'all have them. And I think I actually may have missed a slide on the learning objectives and the outcomes. So Anthony, I'll oh, yep. All right, Lauren, great eye, great catch. So there are three courses here, just like all of our programs. And the first course, I think you'll notice a common thread here with our learning design here at Passstream is it really lays the foundations for an absolute beginner. So once again, you don't have to have project management experience. Um, you don't have to have any uh, any experience with Asana or Google Sheets, we'll walk you through all those things. And course one is where we really lay those foundations down. Then in course two, you start to kind of put these things together around project management. So you work with planning a schedule, you work with planning a budget, you work with working on your communications, all the things that are going to be super critical to actually managing a pretty big project in the real world. And then finally, in course three is where things get particularly interesting and complex, where you start to work with things like risk management and quality assurance and integration management. And so these more complex situations where you really, really have to have um, all of your planning nailed down, because in order to quantify risk and to be able to assess it in relation to a project that you're trying to deliver on time and under budget, it requires a lot of coordination, but that's why it's the third course. It's the hardest one. And by the time you get to it, you'll be more than prepared to take on these complex use cases. All right, now I'm passing it on to Nina so she can tell you about that digital marketing certificate. Thanks, Anthony. Um, similarly to the past three certs, I'll walk through kind of how we develop this certificate. Um, and what you'll find in it. And then I'll also pass it over to Mary, who is an expert in instructing the certificate. Um, so when we developed this cert, we partnered with subject matter experts from various size industries, uh, various industries to make sure that we were collecting diverse perspectives in terms of what it means to be a successful digital marketer. Um, next. Um, so, as all the other um, CERT managers have talked about, uh, we really try to give students a hands-on experience uh, when they're going through our certificates. Um, and we ask subject matter experts, what are the most important tools that a entry-level digital marketer uh, should know? And then we uh, incorporated those tools into our certificate. So you'll get practice with Facebook Ads Manager, Google Analytics, Google Sheets, Google Slides, um, amongst others in these three courses. Our three courses um, cover kind of the wide breadth that is digital marketing. Our first course you'll see in these learning outcomes covers some business and marketing foundations. So if you've never had um, uh, experience working at a company or diving into uh, business or marketing, we kind of don't assume that um, there is any background knowledge there. Though if you do have that experience, uh, you'll for sure add to your knowledge set. So that's our foundational course. Um, during that course, you end up developing a marketing campaign for a company of your choice. So we see really creative um, projects that I'm sure Mary can speak to around um, companies that students either uh, admire or work for or own. Um, in the second course, the big questions you'll be able to answer um, by the end are, how do I know if a uh, marketing campaign, like an ad that I've put out is doing well, and also what can I do to make it even better. Uh, so you'll dive into sheets and we really take you from the beginning um, to learn how to dive into a campaign and, and be able to confidently say um, if it was a successful campaign. And then finally, in the third course, you'll dive into social media marketing. I'm sure you all know as a digital marketer, um, social media is definitely an area these days you need to have a background in. Um, so throughout this course, you'll put together a campaign for 
a real company um, with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram ads and posts. Um, as a career outlook, our students get uh, various titled jobs. Um, some that we've seen are digital marketing coordinator and marketing specialist, um, also mentioned in other certificates. Some folks uh, just take this, they already have a job that they really like and they want to add to their skill set. Um, and then some folks are looking for a promotion. Some folks own their own companies and they just want to be able to take on the marketing component of their companies. Um, so we see folks get entry level jobs or internships, applying those skills to their current jobs and also pursuing promotions. The data tells us that there are plenty of digital marketing uh, roles out there. In the last 12 months, we've seen 300,000 job postings, as well as a 20% growth in uh, jobs that require digital marketing skills in the last five years. Um, and you'll notice we have this emphasis on digital marketing. Uh, we see that over 50% of all marketing expenditure in the US goes to digital marketing versus traditional you know, bulletins and print marketing. Um, so it's definitely an area, if you're going into marketing, um, you're gonna wanna hone in on those digital skills. And um, Mary, I don't know if you wanted to add anything uh, since you are our expert instructor. Yes, um, just real quickly, I wanna say that with, with the digital marketing program, what I've been doing is, Lauren mentioned earlier that everything is self-paced and there are no required lectures or anything, but I conduct a weekly, um, what we call office hours, it's a live session on Zoom, um, one evening uh, a week. And the purpose of that is to have an opportunity for anybody to come in and, and talk about um, what's going on maybe with other students. I've had students in that environment actually create study groups or opportunities just to connect, which has been really great for students who are working independently. But uh, like Lauren had mentioned, this isn't something you have to do. This is the beauty. One of the beauties of this program is that flexibility. Um, but I, what I also do in during office hours is I present uh, a new topic each week that uh, there's backup material for anybody who doesn't have the ability to attend that they can still access it. And what I've done with that material is I am, I've added information that corresponds to the curriculum to supplement it. So not required, not going to be reflective of anything relating to your work, but I have found it's, it's provided for students that much more flexibility about what they wanna take from the program. And it gives us a great opportunity to even do discussions on career and um, career strategies and finding work, uh, opening a business, um, what to do about that. And so um, that's one thing I wanted to mention. The other thing I wanted to say was that um, the, the students who have come in always have a broad spectrum of experience and interest in why they're doing this. Um, and like Nina said, that this is about uh, finding another job, getting a promotion, starting a business, uh, maybe even taking it slower with an internship. But what I'm finding very excitingly is uh, in the several cohorts that I've already conducted with students that they're they're finding their solutions really quickly. Like in the middle of the program, they're finding opportunities for work. They're finding opportunities to start their business and to push forward with that. And so um, it's, it's great because it's happening while the program is happening. And so we can all process that in that sort of lab environment, especially in our weekly office hours opportunity. Um, I have been, working in marketing and design and coding and all of that for a long time, for more than 25 years. And so I've, 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 you know, crossed the bridge between traditional and marketing. And what I'm really excited to say is that this, what this program does is it, it does that. It does that really effectively because you've got traditional marketing knowledge, plus how to apply that in the digital environment that we do, I think really, really strongly. And working in the field, it's important to me that my students can be competitive um, in what they're trying to accomplish. And um, I think that that's what we, we've done in our partnership here is make, make that a reality. And I, I feel very strongly that that happens in the other programs too. 
So I think that's probably all I wanted to say. Thanks, Nina. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Nina. Um, great. So what I want to do, keep the questions coming into the Q&A and we will get to those in a couple of minutes, but I really very quickly want to give you a little bit of a demo um, of what this platform is going to look like as a student. So let me switch over here. Um, so what you're looking at right now, I just put it into new mode, is um, the SQL course. So this is the second course in the data analytics program. And you'll see that it's divided up into sections, section three, section four. And in a given week, you will be assigned to do one to three of these sections. And it's self-paced. So if you fall behind, you are able to catch up. But in order to not have all the work at the very end of the certificate, you want to try to keep up the pace that is set for you by your instructor each week. So if we go into one of these little lessons, um, you can see that there's a time estimate. So you get a sense of about how much time you're going to be spending in the certificate and in a given day. Um, and you have a standard lesson here. Um, there is text. There are what we call knowledge checks, which are little ungraded quizzes where you can um, answer a quick question about what you learned and get an explanation for the question. Um, there are short videos that you can watch. Um, and there are interactive elements that you can see here to understand MySQL Workbench, which is one of the tools that you're going to be going into. Um, and when you get to the end of a lot of lessons, they have what we call a lab, which is what I was mentioning throughout the webinar. So when you click launch lab, another um, page is going to come up and it's going to look like this. So this is a past stream lab. On the right hand side, you have MySQL Workbench. And this is your own instance of MySQL Workbench that you can write in, you can um, run queries on, um, and you can save the work that you're doing on the right hand side. And on the left hand side are a set of instructions that you will navigate and answer questions on the right hand side using. And so in here, there are images, there are GIFs, there are videos, there are little quiz questions in here. Um, and so this is really the interactive learning and the tool-based learning that I was talking about. Um, this is an example of a lab, but your projects will also look a lot like this. And so you will submit these projects to your instructor for grading and for feedback. And many of the projects will use the same platform that you would have to use on the job. So this is a very quick look um, at what the experience looks like on Passstream. Every course is a little bit different, but there are a lot of similarities here in terms of, you know, each course is broken down as, into sections and you will want to navigate a couple of sections each week. So I'm going to go back to Passstream, or I'm going to go back to our presentation here. Um, and I, this is a really good time for you all to put your questions into the Q&A so that we can answer them and make sure that we leave you with all the information that you need to make a decision here. Um, as you're thinking about uh, your final questions, I want to go through a couple of common FAQs that we see from a lot of students that might already be things you're thinking about for the Q&A. So the total cost of this program is $35.28, um, and that's for each of our programs. So our digital marketing program is $35.28, our Asana program is $35.28, and you can pay in full for over $500 in, in discount, um, or we have six or 18 month installment plans that you can pay using. Um, we see many students seek reimbursement from their employer. So maybe your employer has a partial or a full policy to reimburse you for education. So definitely ask any, any of your um, managers if they have a program like this. Um, and you will get an email with all this information after the call. So how much time should I expect to commit to the program? Really good question. We see that students spend 10 to 15 hours each week doing past stream work. Some students spend more time than that and some students spend less. It's not a good idea to try to cram those 10 hours into one day of the week. We really recommend that you space out your learning. So if you've only got a couple of hours in your, in your week right now, you're gonna to wanna to reshuffle your schedule to make sure you really have the 10 to 15 hours to do this work because this is really trying to change the course of your career and that requires time over a sustained period. It requires hours over a sustained period of time. Um, any prerequisites for this program? No, you do not have to know anything about CRM 
or about ads manager in order to come into this program. We just ask that you have a high school degree or equivalent. And if you're in the data program, we want you to have some knowledge of high school level math and statistics. That will help you to be the most successful in that program. So another final question that we often get before I turn to the chat is that when does this certificate start? So our certificates will now start on a new date of November 8th. So we have frequent starts every year, but November 8th is the next launch date for all of these programs. Um, and if you want, if you have any other questions that we don't get to today, you can all always email emery underscore, underscore certificates at pastream.com. So I'm going to turn to the Q&A now and kind of see kind of what questions are coming up here. Um, can you work ahead of the pacing or finish earlier than 18 weeks? Yes. Um, if you want to move faster, you are welcome to do that. You just need to let your instructor know that that's what you plan to do. Um, but it is something that you absolutely um, can do. There was another question about how much the courses cost for Emory staff. And um, Eva, I'm not sure if you have the answer to that, but um, we, can, we can take that now or we can defer that question if you don't have it right now. Um, we generally offer a 10% discount for Emory staff members. I can follow up with you about that as well, just to double check and make sure I'm not making any promises there, but usually there's a 10% discount for Emory staff. Great. Um, another easy one, and then I'm going to pass this one over to Anthony, um, but is enrollment on a continuous basis. So we have um, regular starts. So we are a cohort based program, which means that you're going to start with other students. You can't, you know, as I said, we have a start date on November 8th. So that means that there's not another start date in November, but there may be a start date in December, January, February. But the, the most up to date um, date that we're starting this next program is November 8th. So Anthony, I want to hear a little bit more from you about the utility of Salesforce and just kind of helping people understand um, that in more detail. Yeah, good, good <laughs> question, Teresa. Um, so basically Salesforce, the easiest way to think about what Salesforce is, is it's just a database. And basically the utility that I think a lot of companies get out of Salesforce is they put all of their data, anything that's related to sales, let's say, for example. So they'll put all of their leads, all the people they think might want to buy their product in Salesforce. And by putting all the data about all their leads in one place, it'll allow their sales team to work as effectively and efficiently as possible to then convert those leads. And so as a Salesforce administrator, basically what you're doing is you're configuring Salesforce so that it meets the needs of whatever different company is using it. Anyone who's played around with Salesforce in the past or anyone who jumps into it now will see that it is a, even though it's a database fundamentally, there are so many different tools and so many different features and so many different things that you can do with that data that it really requires like a custom configuration to really make sure that it's serving the needs of a particular company, right? You could imagine there's maybe a, a Fortune 500 for-profit corporation that's using Salesforce and then a small nonprofit that's using Salesforce. And the use cases between those two things is huge. And so they need Salesforce administrators to come in and make sure that they're using it as effectively as possible. And so that's just kind of a high level overview around what's kind of the basic value and then what a Salesforce administrator would do and how they would enhance that value for whoever needs to use it. So I wanna give everybody a little bit of time um, to make sure that um, all questions are answered. So I did see one question in the chat about a discount, this one just came to a few of us, but um, if there's a discount being applied for attending the meeting today. So you are going to get an email tomorrow with all of the information that was presented today in this webinar, and it'll include information about the tuition assistance and a discount code. So that will all be coming to you tomorrow. Um, and I wanna make sure I'm capturing any questions. So just give everybody a couple more seconds to get any of their final questions into the Q&A. Yeah, so there's a question here um, about the LinkedIn badges. So um, 
what at, when you complete our certificate program, you're going to get a digital badge that you can place on your LinkedIn um, as evidence that you've completed the program. So that badge is going to have likely the tech partner. So maybe that's Tableau and it will also have Emory, right? Emory continuing education's logo as well. So this is a badge that you can put under certificates. You can put it under your education um, and it will demonstrate that you have completed the program um, and you've earned the certificate. Any other questions that are coming to mind about any of our programs and anything from the panelists that wasn't mentioned that didn't come up that you know you often hear from students. This is the time. Um, I'd like to say something a little bit more. Um, I think I, I sort of crossed this a little bit, but the uh, the reality is that the program is is incredibly flexible and so i've had students. Uh, utilize the opportunities they have in the access to the 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 curriculum to process through it in the way that suits them and access to me to to uh to utilize me as a partner in this educational process and their instructor and colleague but also the career services that are provided through this thanks to both primarily past dream, but also anything that we can do, myself included, has made a critical difference. Every single cohort, I have seen students get jobs beyond their expectations. And, and I'm so excited to, to report that just one success after the other, like I said, before they're completed. So, um, so this, this, this is for you. I mentioned, I answered this in one way about the email marketing question, that, that the way it's set up, it's for you to make of it what you need. And you come to your instructor and you come to us and you ask us if you need something else. It's the first thing I ask of my students when I meet them is who you are, what's your experience right now? What are you looking for? And I, as your instructor in my program, I try to help you find um, to get there. So so talk to us about that. Talk to us about what you need. Um, so it's self-paced, yes, but, but Emory is here too. <laughs> Great. And I'm just answering a couple of things in the chat and in the Q&A. Um, the, there is no way to earn the certificate directly through Passstream. Um, you would just do that through Emory um, and be able to get that certificate through Emory, which we've really been finding from our students that it's really enhancing their job search process because um, they are able to see that you know, you have the credential from a really recognized institution um, and that has really helped students to get noticed in the job search. Mm -hmm. I think we've maybe captured all the questions that I'm seeing coming in um, via the chat and via the Q&A, but I wanna make sure everybody sees that the next start date is um, November 8th and Beyond that, the next start date after that is not until January 24th. So we really hope that you can enroll before the new year um, to really kind of lock in this particular offering and really get started before the new year comes upon us. So um, we hope to see you in a program in the coming um, weeks. We're really excited to have been here with you today and uh, we hope to see you in the past Dream Emory classroom. All right, everyone, have a wonderful rest of your day, and thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye. Thank everybody. you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.